Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Y'all, so today I went to Lowe's to purchase supplies for Winston's ramp that Maddie is going to make him. I got everything I needed. I'm excited about it. But what happened when I was at Lowe's? Y'all, I got into some shenanigans. <laughs> I got into some shenanigans and I bought this new metal shelf. Whoops. So I saw that and I was like, I think I need that. So I bought it because the measurements are perfect <laughs> for what I plan on using it for. So in this video, I'm going to build it and put it in my van. Hopefully it works out. Let's get to it. The plan is for the shelf to replace my bamboo table with this stuff on it. So basically I will still keep my bamboo table in my van, but I will be able to put my coffee, my clothes, my hygiene stuff all on that shelf. Now this might get in the way a little bit. We will find out, but I can always move my narrow shelf over and uh, kind of mess around with it. So it is time to build it and see what we come up with. I am going to assembly the shelf inside my house. So I took out all of my pieces and laid them out with the instructions to see what I'm up against. It should take about 15 to 20 minutes to put together. And of course, Winston is here to supervise and make sure I'm staying out of trouble. Before I get too far into the process, I brought in my coffee bin and my regular baskets to measure the shelves to see where I need to put them because I don't want to put it together and my stuff won't fit in there, right? Here is the finished product. I ended up bringing in my rubber mallet just to secure everything, make sure that the shelves were nice and tight on the bars. Very happy with it. As I suspected, this little portion of my van here is keeping the shelf from fitting all the way flush to that edge, but that's fine. Here's my nice sturdy shelf. I took out my narrow white shelf so I can move it over. Sometimes all it takes is a little bit of, uh, you know, puzzle work. And here is my bamboo table and my sink and my few other things. We have success, my friends. I just went ahead and closed my trunk to see if that far pull came out too much, but it looks like we're good to go, y'all. Ta-da! Great. And what I like is that the bottoms, you can unscrew these if you need to level it. So this is really going to give me an extra shelf of space plus the underneath area. Now it's time to see if my white narrow shelf will fit next to it. Um, excuse me, who would have known this would work out so perfectly? Like, excuse me right now. Um, okay, Amanda, sometimes you can be smart. Wow, y'all, y'all, stop it right now. I can bungee, I'm going to use bungees to secure everything. But good gracious, this might be perfect. I can still hang my Ikea cups on my shelf. Look at how nice that looks. So I gained, so now I have this, 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 and this. I can put bungees around it so stuff doesn't slide out the other way. I can hang stuff. Y'all, this is, this is great. This is, this is nice. And then what's great too is that when I'm, you know, sitting up against my driver's seat like I normally do, I can still see out, right? Because it's not, you know, it's an open shelf, so it doesn't really obstruct my view. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yay, this is working awesome. So I put my bamboo table right here, and this might not be like the finished 
finished product, I might end up moving things around, but I gained so much more space by building up, right? Getting more vertical storage. And that's actually something that I started thinking about from my meetup. So thank you to all the minivanners there that uh, kind of got my brain working. So the next thing is I'd like to hang my sink on the side here with a hook. So I have that. And then in the meantime, I put like a, a bungee back there to keep this from sliding. And then I bungeed both shelves together. And I think I might end up using Velcro to secure the metal shelf. Y'all, it worked with the hook. Look at my sink. Oh my gosh, that is perfect. And now I can still put things on top of here if I need to. This is dope, y'all. I'm very excited. And I can even put up like a curtain here if I want to, to hide everything so it'll look really pretty. <gasps> Wait, I have that tapestry that Glenna gave me. Maybe I'll use that. Mm, so many options. Now I'm going to take the van for a quick test drive with it set up like this to see what more I need to secure, what bungees I need to add, um, so I can perfect everything before I hit the road again next week. It worked out really well on my test drive. Nothing moved around. Furthermore, I added my toaster oven, put it right here, and it's not gonna go anywhere. I folded my towels, and so now I have my clothes, socks, and washcloths. I'm going to put additional clothes underneath, so I will have more space for my clothes now. And then on the top, I think I'll put my hygiene caddy, and I will bungee it to the top. Now I have this for just food storage. It was holding my toaster oven. So that's just for food storage. I can even put my water or something else on top if I need to. And I'm sure that as I head out on my next trip, I might, you know, rearrange a couple things. I mean, I don't know, maybe I'll want to move my clothes up a, a shelf. We will find out, but I am incredibly happy with the way this is looking very very happy with it this is what it looks like from the inside so as you can see i can still access my clothes and items they won't my clothes bin won't slide back because my mattress is in the way and then the feet of my toaster oven are secure in the shelf so that works nicely and then but of course i can always use more bungees yes this is this is awesome i also like this shelf because i can hang things on it so like i have winston's collapsible bowls i can almost like hang two on the front hang two on the back so i can access them from either side of my van i also might put just a small basket up here with winston's items so they're easy to access because my hygiene caddy will still fit on the top there but like i said i'm going to play around with it i'm going to mess around with the whole setup as i as I travel, but right now I think that this is a great place to start. And I always recommend, you know, not perfecting it necessarily at first, but just traveling with a setup and seeing how it goes. And you can move stuff around or make changes as you go along. Here's the tapestry piece that Glenna gifted me. So I figure I can always just drape that over my shelf if I want to hide everything or I can make it into a curtain or home make my own curtain, but that's just a nice option to have if, you know, I'm chilling and I just don't want people to see what's on my shelves. Not that I don't keep them organized and nice, but that's really pretty. So again, I'm just kind of having fun with it, messing around to see what all of my options are. Y'all, this new shelf has been a super fun project for me today. I had so much fun with it and I did get it at Lowe's in the shelving section. So the cost on it was $40. And there goes the neighbor sawing stuff. So 
I lost my train of thought, but um, I can't wait to set out next week and see how I like it. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, with all that being said, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel to see what else I'm up to, and I will see you next time.